Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install shaders onto Minecraft. Now, I have made a video before where I show you how to install shaders. Though in that video, I used Optifine. Now, since Minecraft 1.19, people have not been using Optifine that much anymore. Mostly because Optifine takes a very long time to finally update to the newest version of Minecraft. But also, Optifine has been experiencing way more bugs than before. But there's another way. Another way to get shaders working on Minecraft without using Optifine. And that's what I'm gonna show you inside of this video. Anyways, before we start, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video. Also so check if you're subscribed to the channel. It really will mean a ton if you did. It actually would. We're almost at 13k subscribers, which is just insane. Thank you guys so extremely much for all the support. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So let me show you how to make your Minecraft look like this. So the mod we're going to install to get shaders working on your Minecraft is called Iris Shaders. And while Optifine is very easy to install without any mod loader, Iris Shaders actually requires one. Meaning that we will also have to install Fabric. I'm gonna show you everything step for step. So in the description of this video, you will see five links. Make sure to open all of them. One of the links will take you to this page. Fabric, installing for Minecraft Launcher. That's what we want to do. We want to install Fabric. Fabric is a mod loader. In other words, you will need to install Fabric and then you can install mods. It's as easy as that. So we're just gonna click on the big download button here, download for Windows, click on it, and there we go. Next, you want to install the Fabric API. This is the first mod we need to get Iris shaders working. Now, what is the Fabric API? Basically, it's just a mod that you need to run most other mods. So you will need to drop the Fabric API into the mods folder, otherwise it will just not work. It's just a compatibility thing, so we're just gonna click on download. There, we freaking go. Now next we want to install Iris shaders. So this is the mod that will actually let us run a shader pack. So we're gonna click on download now and after that you will see multiple links here. Now I like to use this one so I'm just gonna click here. That will take you to this page and then here on the left you see this download button just click on it and there we go. And after that you want to install sodium. Now what is sodium? doesn't matter. Just like the Fabric API, you'll need to drop this into your mods folder, otherwise Iris shaders will not work. So just click on download and there we go. Now last but not least, you will need to download a shader pack. Now what kind of shader pack you want to install, that's fully up to you. I really like the BSL shaders, so that's what I'm gonna download. So BSL shaders, just click on download, wait a few seconds and there we go. Go. So this is what you got after downloading all of those files. Now let me show you how to install it properly. The first thing you want to do is go to the fabric installer.exe file. Just double click on it and it will give you this message. Now I promise you it's not a virus. So just click on more info and after that on run anyway. So this is the fabric installer. Now the default install location of fabric is the default place where your Minecraft is also installed to. So I would just keep it this way. Then you can choose your Minecraft. Minecraft version, so I want to install Fabric for 1.19.2, which is currently the newest version of Minecraft. Though, if you're watching this video in a year, then you can here just choose whatever version is the newest then. In my case, 1.19.2 it is, so just click on it, and after that, loader version. I'm just going for the newest one. Why not? Why would I go for an older version? The newer version is probably better, so I'm just going for the newest one. Then I'm gonna click on install, and we're done. Fabric loader for 1.19. 19.2 has been successfully installed. Many mods also require you to put the Fabric API into the mods folder. I know, that's why we also downloaded it. So let's exit out of there. And what you want to do now is open Minecraft. Now if you've just installed Fabric, then you can already see something different here. Here in the bottom left corner where it shows your installations, it will now say Fabric Loader 1.19.2. That's exactly what we have just installed. Now it's very important before we can actually install mods to just click on play and launch the fabric loader for the very first time. This is important because it will actually generate some folders for us. And there we go. In the bottom left corner, it will say Minecraft 1.19.2 slash 
fabric. That's cool, the folders have been generated, so now we're just gonna click on exit game. What you want to do now is locate your mods folder. Now where is your mods folder located? Well, if you've installed fabric to the default location, it's very easy to get to. What you want to do in Windows is click on search, and what you want to do is type percent appdata percent, just like this. Then click on enter, and this is what you will see, many folders. But the most important one is of course .minecraft. So we're gonna double click on .minecraft and it will show many folders once again. Now the one you want to be looking for is the mods folder. So we got mods over here, just double click on it. And if you've just installed fabric for the very first time, this folder will be empty. Now, what do we want to put in here? Well, first of all, the fabric API. It just needs to sit there, not do anything, just put it in the folder and you're done. The next mod you want to put in there is sodium, because without sodium, the iron shaders mod will just not work. And after that, the last thing you want to put in here is of course, iris shaders. So that's it. As soon as the fabric API, sodium and iris shaders are inside of your mods folder, you're pretty much done. Now we're gonna open the Minecraft launcher once again, and make sure you have the fabric loader selected, then click on play, and there we go. Inside of Minecraft with all the mods loaded. Now how can you see if the mods are actually loaded correctly just click on options and then on video settings uh, you will see it looks a bit different than usually that's because iris shaders is successfully installed now what you can do now to load your shader pack is just click on shader packs here in the middle just click on it here you can see i already got two shader packs installed if you want to install another one simply click on open shader pack folder and now you can simply just drag the bsl shaders that we downloaded inside so just drag it that there we go and then after going back in Minecraft, just click on the reload button here. And here are the shaders. These are the shaders we just installed. So let's click on it and then click on apply and then click on done. Now let's go in game. And there we go. Shaders successfully installed. We're running the BSL shaders now through the Iris shaders mod. Like you could see, it's not that hard to install. And if you ask me, it works way better than Optifine. And the best thing of it all, Iris shaders will get updated in days after a new Minecraft version has been released, while Optifine can take multiple weeks to actually get updated. Sometimes even months. It's like a very long time. While in the past, Optifine was the way to get shaders working on Minecraft, it is just not the best way anymore. Iron shaders is great, it works fantastic, and I would highly recommend it. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully you learned something today. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet and you did enjoy the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out by doing that you actually would and then that's gonna be it i really hope you enjoyed watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye